The Bitcoin network has finally decided to implement SegWit, and the whole cryptocurrency community is ecstatic. We see both Bitcoin supporters and altcoin supporters all celebrating on Twitter and other social media. The reason for this is because Bitcoin's scaling debate has cast such uh, uncertainty over the whole future of cryptocurrency because Bitcoin is such a huge contributor to the cryptocurrency market. So in this video, before we celebrate and get our beers out, I want to talk a little bit about what is SegWit and what the, it's trying to solve. So on the Bitcoin network, there's so many transactions that's happening that right now the network can't really deal with all of them. So say for example, I want to send you a Bitcoin. Well, when I broadcast a tra transaction and when I send you the Bitcoin, it isn't immediately confirmed by the network. You got to wait for the block, for the miners, kind of the accountants of the Bitcoin network to actually confirm this and put it in a block. Well, it turns out the block gets very full and it can't confirm all the transactions. So as a result, some transactions don't make it. And the transactions that do make it have to compete for that space. It's kind of like Uber during rush hour. When rush hour hits, there's not enough cars and you got to pay an extra surge charging to get on. And the miners always prioritize those who pay more than everyone else. So that problem comes when the network gets so congested that you have to pay more and more, maybe even 10 US dollars or 20 US dollars for a Bitcoin transaction. And obviously, that's a little bit too much. So SegWit tries to solve this. And in a very quick summary of what it's trying to do, it's trying to do this. So you have a Bitcoin transaction. For example, this is a block and it puts transactions there. And there's signatures, there's huge signature boxes. And what SegWit's trying to do is it's trying to move the signature box away from the block, move it elsewhere, and now we have more space. We have more space to put transactions. And now we don't have kind of this wasted space. And as a result, in the same block size, the same one megabyte block, we can put more transactions with a SegWit transit block than a non-SegWit block. Sounds amazing, right? So we can fit more on the same block, and now we can process more transactions with the same amount of space. And why didn't we do it sooner? Well, it turns out that the Bitcoin developers were so confident that people were going to upgrade and going to jump forward to this that they set the requirement for the initial SegWit up update to be 95%. And the miners just didn't take it. In a very short summary of the debate, well, miners thought this might not be safe and hence, like kind of the accountants that they are, they decided not to implement it. But finally, because of this whole debate issue, because of the whole community coming together and voicing their opinions, we have finally activated the precursor to SegWit. So what's next? Can we immediately see SegWit? Will we immediately have cheaper transactions? Well, no. It'll still take a while for SegWit to actually be fully activated. And even after that, it takes a while for SegWit blocks to become popular and for the whole network to kind of really all use SegWit blocks. So it's not immediate. And that's the thing with cryptocurrency. Not everything is going to be bam, 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 fast, fast, fast. People do want to play it safe and people want to make sure the network is secure. So before we get too excited for cheaper transactions, they will take a while to arrive, but we do know that the future is going to be SegWit. So what are the other benefits of SegWit? Other than just putting more transactions on the same space, we also have transaction malleability, which is the fact that transactions now have a set number. And this means that unconfirmed transactions will be processed easier. And the biggest thing of them all is Lightning Network. So the Lightning Network, which is a project that will take maybe months and years to complete, promises instantaneous transactions at zero fees, which is just mind boggling. There are, of course, caveats to the system. You have to deposit money there first, but it seems extremely exciting and it's going to be a big experiment for the future. I'm definitely going to cover the Lightning Network. I'm going to cover other extensions such as Segwit 2X. So if you subscribe to my channel, you won't miss out on any of those videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.